Hey YouTubers, this is Marvel Meddings with my 2017 statue room tour. I've been collecting statues for about four years now and I've owned a lot of statues that I bought and sold and decided it's about time I did a room tour so that I can log what I've got and hopefully update it every six or seven months to keep a track of where I am. Um, I started off collecting pretty much anything then decided just to mainstream and just go Marvel so I sold a lot of my DC stuff but uh, let's show you around and see what I've got this is just a little plaque my uh, daughter bought me for Father's Day and then moving on we have the Sideshow Premium Format Green Goblin love this statue, picked it up quite cheap I think it was about £320 uh, it's a great little statue got a little bust there very cheap but it was a nice sculpt on the face then we have the Sideshow Black Cat Premium Format bought this statue from a good friend Mike Wells who we meet up and have a good laugh with uh, did me a good deal on this thanks a lot buddy see you soon uh, bought a little um, diamond added one to the base there it was quite cheap about £5 each but it adds a little Nice little extra thing to it. Uh, this is the Sideshow Comic Cat Spider Man. Um, I love this statue, it's great. One I'd never ever sell. One I picked up quite early in my collecting. Uh, the only thing I would say is not great about it is the fact that he's got a bit of an egg head, a little bit of a nose, would have been nice. Other than that, it's perfect. I've added the little uh, calling card from Black Cat. Then moving down here to my cabinet, which I got for £35 from an auction. Pretty happy with that. Uh, I've got the Sideshow Venom Comic Cat. The Sideshow Spider-Man Premium Format OG with the camera the exclusive and the sideshow comic carnage uh, I know a lot of people complain about the size difference in these that Venom should probably be bigger than carnage but I still love them no matter what um, I think if you work them as a three and put them this way around putting carnage slightly forward then Venom then Spider-Man at the back, I think it works quite well. Add is a uh, Marvel Spider-Man logo at the bottom. A little Mar Marvel logo there. So not a bad little cabinet for £35. And that's my Spider-Man display. Three up, three down. Uh, I'm getting the Electro Bio XM hoping to pick up a Rhino as well and then I have up here a custom Hulk which I haven't quite finished painting yet but it will get done this was from uh, King of Hobbies it was one of the first statues I bought and it's got a Superman that uh, flies into him which I've got a little peg hole for him to go into um, then we have the Thor premium format statue for me the best Thor there is can't really beat this uh, there are a few coming up that could possibly but for me right now this is the one I uh, repainted the base a little bit added a bit of green so it's got a bit of shadowing over here we have the Abdul Co Deadpool on throne which I've had custom painted by Ian Wilkinson well he painted the base I painted the actual statue so it's a head that I've done recently awesome awesome statue and then we have the bushy beast which was also painted by Ian Wilkinson did a great job on this 
We need to add some wine in here, I think. detail on this thing is immense. I will be doing some reviews on individual pieces within time. Down here we have the Gladiator Hulk premium format. It's a beast. Love this guy. And we have the Sing premium format. This is the European version, I think. And then we've got the XM Daredevil. I've got my besters. We've got Doctor Strange XM. Picked this up recently, it was meant to be in a bit of a trade, but it fell through so. I ended up keeping him. I, I quite like him. We've got the Iron Man and Mark V by Sideshow Collectibles and the War Machine. Uh, I got these very early on in my collecting career. Um, got them from a good friend of mine, Andy Fusco. Uh, we've been friends ever since, so. These are very special to me, I would never sell these. And down here we have the Red School Premium Format and the Captain America Sideshow Premium Format. Uh, both the exclusives. I think they're a good, good match together. Up here we have, just open this, we have the Maddox Custom Magneto, one of my favourite statues. As you can probably tell I'm quite into my uh, X-Men. And for me, I know everybody says the X-Men Magneto is better but for me this one does it. He's just got a presence about him floating. And down here, my favourite female statue. So much so that I had to get one in red as well. The Sideshow She-Hulk Premium Format. And then a custom by Sam, aka Right Guy to, to You, I think something like that. To You, Right Guy to You, did this custom red She Hulk for me. He did an amazing job. When I bought this, it was in about five different pieces. So he did an amazing job to put it all back together and give it a good repaint. So that's them. Down here we have the Sideshow Brown, uh, is it maquette I think, I think it's a maquette, I'm not too sure. And the Sabretooth original pyjama party version. I got this from a friend Geo uh, in a trade for my Black Bolt plus the, um, what was it, the Deadpool X-Force version which I then traded for a Sentinel so up here we have the XM Phoenix with a custom UV head by James TCE Love this statue. X Men Rock. Two of the best characters right there. Then we go down to my Psylocke comic kit and my Mystique comic kit. Love these guys. 
fit perfect next to each other. That face is just incredible. I would like to slightly lighten the skin tone on Mystique, but I've never got around to it. And then we have the Cyclops Premium Format by Sideshow and the XM Wolverine. Another great little partnership. As you can tell in my best as I like to try and team up people where I can. And then let's go across. We've got the XM Thanos, awesome statue, but same again, I really do want to get this repainted, add a bit of shading, I've seen a lot of people do it now and it looks so much better, so that's on my job, little lists of jobs to do at some point, and then Coming down here we have the Deadpool Premium Format and the Rogue Premium Format. Uh, I had Ian repaint the Rogue for me because she had wonky eyes and toned down the lips because she looked like a prostitute. So really happy with the face now. Uh, I prefer her without the jacket myself but everyone to themselves and I've only recently changed his head just for a change I normally have the other one but I've got just the regular version for this I would like to try and pick up the chicken at some point and then down here we have the XM Ant-Man the little ants uh, coming up here, we have the Sideshow Man Thing. This is a Marvel sample, so quite lucky to have this. Awesome piece. Definitely unusual. And then we have the Angel Comicette. love this piece, I think it's uh, just a beautiful pose, the colours, the base, it's just spot on. Yeah, I have my computer here and we have the Megatron by Prime Studios and the Optimus Prime by Prime Studios, two of my favourite pieces, I uh, love these guys. They were, I can never stop looking at them and finding new little details that I didn't spot before. They're just out of this world. They do take up a lot of room and that's the only problem. And down here we've got the Prime 1 Raphael. Picked this up recently, did a trade for my PCS Robocop. And uh, don't regret it, this is great. Sort of tempted to get a few of the others now, but to be honest, I only really like the RAF and the Leonardo, so I might get the Leonardo just so he's got somebody to team up with. Uh, coming up here, we've got the Sideshow Grey Hulk OG Premium Format. Uh, it took me a long time to find this guy and uh, a long time to talk the guy who owned it into selling it me. He finally agreed and I went all the way to Ireland to pick him up. It was an awesome experience, never forget it. Uh, he's definitely a keeper. And I've got the Sideshow uh, Hulk vs Spider-Man diorama but the Spider-Man is off for repair because his fingers were broke so 
Sam's going to fix those for me. And then we have the green version of the Sideshow Hulk OG. Had to get them both. I know a lot of people have mixed opinions about this guy. And when I first first joined statue collecting, I had the chance of picking him up and I just thought he was ugly, but over time he's grown on me. And now I have him. He's definitely uh for me the best Hulk out there. Uh, and then I've got the Sideshow Sentinel, let me just switch the lights on. Sideshow Sentinel Maquette. I picked this up in a trade recently for my uh, Deadpool X-Force, so very happy with that. Awesome statue. And I've got a few of my Art prints by Greg Horn. Got the uh, Rocket and Groot, Psylocke, Hulk, Silver Surfer, Wolverine, uh, just the Avengers, I think it is. But this is my favourite, the X-Men girls so that's it that's the end of my room tour uh, thanks for watching hopefully be back this time next year with an update or I might try and do it every quarter um, thanks for watching guys